The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. News, politics, escándalo, sports, current events, all things worth writing about, and much more. These tres gorditos will blow your mind. Welcome back to another edition of The Three Guys Rant here in the Church of Rantology. And the first thing everybody's saying is like, why are the three gorditos back? I want to hear my Christmas music. So, Phil, why are we back? I don't even know if your microphone's on, and I think that's on purpose. Can you? Okay. Um, Anybody can hear, can hear you. And then we got a call from the beautiful Rosie Mercado, which is, who is sitting in my seat. Hola, hola. Yeah, nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear me? Uh-oh. We better fix that. Uh, I can hear me. That's prob that's prob that's probably Fix get the microphone out of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to speak into it, not swallow it. <laughs> All right. With that said, hi, how are you? Thank I'm you good. So how you doing, me. Rosie? I'm excited to be back. Now I still got nothing. Rosie, now you need to get closer to the mic. Come I, on. I have to get closer to the mic. There you go. Is, is it safe? Yes. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Are you talking about the microphone or are you asking her to get closer hey, to you? Hey, be a yeah. gentleman. She's talking to him. Be yeah, a gentleman. That's no, Mike. She's the microphone. Uh, oh, uh, and I'm Mike. Oh, sí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, Rosie Mercado is back in studio. It's been a while since she's been on when air with us. Time? When was the last time I was here? It's been three years, maybe? No. Was it? Yeah. I said just a couple of weeks. How about now? But now we're good. Now we're good. All right. So, you were saying. No, I'm just saying that for those of you know people who are streaming and watching, the lovely Rosie Mercado is in my seat. No, I didn't get that pretty overnight. She was born that way. I am currently on the other side of the table. Normally, when you see Mike's big forehead, for those of you that have been streaming lately, it's uh, we do a close-up of Mike's head. That's my side. <laughs> and if your kids ever watch Pinky and the Brain, that looked like Mikey's his big, oh. giant, yeah. Boricua forehead. <laughs> All right. And to my right, I will let Rosie introduce her doctor, partner, slash friend, slash new uh, compatriot you did who's say, all about America. You did uh -oh. say you're right, right? No, no, I'm like, you did say America right. How is he supposed to say America? America. Oh, there is <laughs> That's right. Hi, bro. My, my <clears throat> business partner and friend here, Dr. Paulino Gonzalez. He's joining us today. And we have some upcoming projects, which we're excited to talk about. Um, but first of all, thank you. I want to say thank you so much. It's been such a long time. And I am so grateful that you guys always have me come in with open arms and give me a hard time once in a while, but make me laugh. Hey, we love having you. I'm glad you're available. I know Christmas is a few days away, and uh, we're excited you're here. So we'll talk about all of our usual topics. But first, doctor, say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure yet if this is an English or Spanish show. It's Spanish. English. It's whatever you want it to be. I, I it's wanna... English because you can't speak Spanish. Uh -oh. So oh! <laughs> I, I, You're speaking the Spanish good? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Um, I mean, that sounded like my 7-Eleven guy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants to offer you a Slurpee at this point. Uh -uh. Please, please no, no drinking from the Slurpee machine. Um, so I'm just curious, like a real doctor, doctor? Like, I got a rash. I need you to take a look at no, it, no, doctor? No, I'm a, I told you I'm a gynecologist, but I can help you out. Oh, so he oh, got care of you. Yeah, he got care of Marvin. We know that, yeah. See, that's something out of the question. <laughs> hey, uh, Papa Nicolau? Papa Nicolau. <laughs> Get up on the it's table. Coming your way. Hey, right here. There's a lady in the room. Spread them. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a lady in the, the room. The lovely please. Rosie. Uh, we we apologize for I'm you sorry, Phil. So, no. I'm intern. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got it. Yeah. Jack of all trades. Master of none. Master of none. That's what I was used to say. <laughs> Great mind to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm used to that one. That's, that's usually the snow we get. Um, so, real quick, let's get into this past week. Star Wars came out. Uh, yep. I enjoyed it. It wasn't a great movie. Turn off his mic. Mike. It was probably. The best of the prequels, if you will. This you was not, it's a, not prequel. a prequel. Huh? You moron. It's not a prequel. Wh whatever the hell they are, man. It was one, two, three. Now it's four, five, six, seven. seven. What is it? Well, you this is, this you, you really are seven. a moron. You know that this is movie seven. Hey, you know what? And I don't care. I just went because my stepson bought me a ticket. So I went with him. Did so, you enjoy it? Yes, did I you, did. Did you fall I asleep? Did. No. I, I loved, loved it. it. You loved it. Why? Oh. Do you, why? Do you, why? Why? Wait, wait. Have you why seen it? So much fandom. No, I can't sit through that movie. I so you're never it? gonna watch it. No. Okay. So then let, let's do the spoil. Have Doctor, you seen did it? you see it? Estrella, qué? No spoilers. No spoilers. No, 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 no. It's, it's too soon. It's too yeah, soon. No, it's no spoilers. I won't do any spoilers. I will tell you that as a continuation, not a prequel. You are aware that there's probably about a thousand spoilers already on the internet. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't want to add to it. I thought. You know, I don't think, for me, it was the best continuation of any series I've ever seen. 
They picked up 30 years in the future, right where, in theory, it should be based on the timeline. I think the casting was outstanding. I really did enjoy the special effects. The story was great. Don't listen to Arvin. He's a hater. <laughs> and that is um, why you just said for the category. How much did it gross? $250 Woo! million. Dollars Ooh, in the U.S. No, no, worldwide. No, it was U.S. It was 500. I'm sorry, 500, 500, 500, yeah, 500 worldwide. Forgive me. Um, Jurassic Park over the summer. Jurassic so World. The Jurassic World. Grossy movie. Yes. Sorry yes. about that. Can't hear it, it so 208 was Jurassic Park over the summer. That was the new bar that was set. This is the largest movie opening ever, and also it destroyed any previous Christmas movies ever. Well, not only that, but it was the largest pre sale movie. Yes, 50 yeah. million. No, 100, 100 million. million. It was 100, 100, million. Million. 100, 100 million in pre sale, right? Pre -sale. So, the second place was Batman at 25. Yeah, so it's not even close. Yeah, that's amazing. And I gotta tell you, I was the theater we went to, um, there's no Arvin's allowed. Like was it's, it crazy fandom? Yes. Crazy, crazy. People were th there. Some of the kids were dressed up. Um, I'm so glad I didn't go to that one. Where you dressed? You know what's up? funny? I'm I'm looking at you right now with, oh, no. with with the headphones, <laughs> and you look like a fat Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no. Are, are we talking? Are we talking slave Leia or current Leia? Oh God. Current Leia. Oh, that's, that's bad. That's oh. bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Current Leia. I mean, she's she's a looking woman. No. No, she went through woman. she went through a really really bad time, but um, it was a lot of fun. So are we talking about like Jabba the Hutt uh, slave Princess Leia? Because that kind of looks like a hybrid right now. Look, let me give the medical perspective on this. Thirty years later, her body's going to go through some changes. It's perfectly <laughs> normal. <laughs> no, imagine oh if, if she looked exactly the same. That would be a problem. I would say she has a wonderful anti-aging doctor, and I want his number. Give me his number. That's she what I she obviously say. doesn't have the dino uh, virus. No, no. The dino virus. What? Whatever the hell. Dino, dino. What rabies. Ask the doc. Is that? About five years ago, doc, when we first started doing the show, we came across this one on the internet. Okay. So if it's on the internet, it must be true. Well, everything's true on the internet. Right, right. And everybody so, knows that. And it said uh, that they determined one study. I'm sure it was probably like on two people in New Guinea, and that they had this dino virus. And because of that virus, it caused him to be fat. Doctor, just so you know, so we I said, like, I, I must we have all, it. Oh, is, that, is all, that the excuse? That's it. Yeah, that yeah, come okay. on. Yeah. If, you, know, no, I should, you should have told me that before <laughs> I lost all the weight. And, and then he passed it to me. And, you know, <laughs> no it, it went around no, the room. No, 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 no. There's another virus that just came out called taco sasada virus. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one You that have to be has. careful because they're addictive and it causes you to eat more of them. You know what? You got to go tacos anonymous. You got to go to meetings, bro. Really? We're going to get tacos anonymous? My name is Mike. I'm a tacoholic. <laughs> I can't stop putting them in my mouth. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, that's, that's what I'm in this. Yeah, that, 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 that's the issue over here. Yeah, so. Hey, le gusta la carne. <laughs> so, that being said, uh, again, um, Arvin didn't care for it. So no, no, I, no. I hope he doesn't see the other three that are coming out. I There's said I more. enjoyed it. it There's three next more? Year. Three more, baby. What the hell is Two this? Two like Joss? It's only supposed to be nine. Where'd you get ten from? No, they said there's three more coming. After this one? Yeah. No, bro, before. Yeah, tell tell them, thank you. I, I'm stopping at nine. I'm not going to see number ten. I, I hope you don't go see the rest. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. For anybody who hasn't seen it, uh, take the family. It's uh, good, clean fun. I think it was... Uh, Bring a blanket and a pillow because you're going to go to sleep. Um, only if you are Arvin. So, you, you know what's crazy? The theater that I went to actually had a bar. Mine did too. Hey, Vegas. And but I was too lazy to get up and go get a drink, man. See, I just I said no. Screw mine it. did too, but I push a button and el botón. I push el botón and they, oh, come. they come to you. Yeah, they oh, push not, the button. Not, not where I went, man. <laughs> what? You're still not close enough. Oh, I'm not close enough. No, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> How close do you guys want me to get? <laughs> what, what Arvin's referring to is he bootlegged the movie. He was at the house. La vieja trae una cerveza. Yeah. Oh, muy chistoso tú. Well, oh, chistoso. You know what? I you want know, you to call her vieja. That would be. You know you what? You want to get smacked, don't you? Oh, that's awesome. No. That's what he calls her. Hey, button. No, what do you say? <laughs> button. Button, come here. That's is what he calls her right now. I don't think. Ready? Yep. All right. We're going to our first break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive.
exclusive brands like Westco Bankmark, Satin Nice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one -on -one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Do we have your attention? When it comes to tequila, two things matter. Heart and passion. Never compromising integrity for mass production. Number one tequila delivers the goods. Taste the heart and passion of Mexico in every bottle. We make it right. We make it fun. Superior tequila. There's only number one. There's only number one. There's only number one. A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AGR and Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. AGR and Associates, making your dream house a reality. Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. Or you can log on to www. HERrealtors.com With a track record of great results bringing knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. This is Becca Bateau. When I'm not reading Fifty Shades of Grey and driving men crazy, I spend my time dreaming about the three guys rant. Arvin, Mike, and Phil. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, there you go. Now you Alan gave turn. me the finger, and he forgot to turn on my mic. It wasn't so, the finger you were looking for. Yeah, well, you know, what the hell? It's Christmas, at least he gave me something. So does he have a stinky finger now? Or? I don't know. But let's talk, let's cover the bases okay. real quick so we don't offend. It's What is it? <laughs> Hanukkah just finished. Uh, Hanukkah? I don't, I don't know what the difference between yeah. Hanukkah and Chanukah yeah, is, but... You got to put a little more... Ha Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah What the is, hell is Chanukah? That's, that's uh, the black lady that works on the street. Okay, well then Kwanzaa's coming and Christmas is coming, so... Right. Uh, is Chanukah really one? Yeah, it shows up on all the... Uh, it shows up on the cards. I've never heard of that one. Right. Chanukah? Chanukah? What the hell is that? I'll, I'll look it up while, while Rosie talks. But, all right, so our special studio guest is Rosie Mercado. She has been with us in the past. And uh, for those of you that do any of the following, look at social media. I was going to say, she's a brave soul. A rock. I'm surprised she came back with, with these three morons here. Um, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. But for those of you who are like my wife and follow UK Mail online, uh, what, six weeks ago? Is yeah, about, about, yeah five, about, five weeks ago. About yeah. five, six weeks ago, um, if you were thumbing through, um, you saw that they did a uh, pretty big story on Rosie. She, we'll let her tell you the exact numbers, but she dropped some weight. It's a little more than some weight. Yeah, it's a lot. And um, she's always been a model. She's always been beautiful. And like you got divorced? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not so the way we're talking about. No, no, no. She's going to tell, tell us about, you <laughs> I've know. I've been divorced for the last nine years. Her weight loss, divorced. her work, uh, upcoming show, new business. Rosie, the floor is yours. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate being here. And yes, I've lost a lot of weight. It's been over 200 pounds. And really? um, they picked up a story. So it's, thank you. Thank you. I was going to say, I think the three of us found it then. <laughs> <laughs> Con los tacos, ¿verdad? Yep. Um, no, I lost 200 pounds. They did a story at the New York Post, and then from there, it just completely went viral. So it's been it's been a fantastic opportunity to be able to see how different areas, anywhere from London to Paris to Spain to Australia, the U.S., oh, wow. just how so they responded. Viral. It went viral. It went viral. Wow. And it's opened a lot of doors, a lot of great opportunities. And I'm thankful for that. And more than anything, I'm just thankful for the journey. I'm willing to bet if Mikey lost 200 pounds, he wouldn't go viral. Oh, hell no. If I if First I get lost two hundred pounds, it's because of a virus. I was just gonna <laughs> say that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So it'll anyway. be the the Hanta virus. And so I'll I, die. I know you told us off air that you really can't discuss too much about it right now, but in the coming months you'll be able to update us more on exactly how absolutely you uh, were able to lose the weight and um, lots of eating healthy, working out, and more than anything, say bye bye to the oh. tacos. Oh, oh, so you, oh, that's all bad. Come on. Yeah, I didn't make it to you. You, yeah. you might as well stop there because I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I, you know, I was hoping she, I, yeah, I closed the taco a taco truck down and then that was it I was when, like you know Denimus. I'm hoping that she comes in and she puts a little bag on the table and does the whole hey first one's free tell your friends <laughs> you know drop 200 pounds All right, let's Auto. go right now we start you know well you know what's a what's a little harder with me you know if you can drop 200 pounds I mean you know it's fine. Friend. You can run it off. Oh, that's what I thought. Just run it off. You know, come on. So, is that why you got rid of the taco truck? You just kind of felt bad losing weight having the taco truck? No, 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 no. You know what? What we were discussing is just uh, master uh, j- jack of all trades, master of none. It was just right. too much. I had okay. too many businesses going on at once. I was traveling and just the chaos of everything just going all one one time. I mean, while the boss is gone, you know, everybody right. plays and and does their own thing. So, I just really I mean, needed to focus on. You know, dropping it down to maybe two right. businesses and focus on what I love and my passion, and I'm able to that's do that awesome. right now. So, it was fun while it lasted, though. That's good. Learned a lot. That's good. So now you have a new venture. I do. I'm excited about it. the new year, 2016, and bringing what so exactly many opportunities. Is the new venture? So we're going to be doing a social experiment, and the experiment that we're going to be. Um, it's going to be quite interesting. We'll be talking about it next year. And I'm working here with my partner, the Dr. Paulino Gonzalez. And on top of that, we are going to announce that this is going to be our new home for radio. And we're going to be talking about fashion and beauty and health and dating and some um, sex. I'll be and... talking about the fashion and beauty. You have, seen the, <laughs> oh. you have seen the three of us in the room, right? We're all ugly, fat, out of shape. Probably don't have any Whoa, sex. whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, well, ra- then you should listen oh, to our show then. Hey, hey. <laughs> Even more reasons. To hey, and on top of that, if you look to your left, no fashion sense. So, hey. Round is a shape. <laughs> I, said, I just want you to see. We celebrate all shapes here. All right. It's all good. <laughs> Even if you look like a pear, it's okay. I That's right. Okay. Um, so what, okay, so we, we, don't, we don't know the show name yet, but this will be your new home starting in 2016. Yes, I'm excited about that. I come back to radio. It's been, God, it's been about five, six years since I've been in radio. So coming back, it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm excited to talk to people. And educate, inspire, create, and more than anything, I'm excited to work with Dr. Paulino Gonzalez. He just brings another element. Um, you will hear us go back and forth because that's what we do best. Um, I'll choke him once in a while, hit him once in a while, and you just say yes. Now Let's those shows that. have to be pay per view because I guarantee you, people will pay for that. Oh, well, really? You think so? Yeah. I, I wanted to cover He's something. He's turning red. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm, I'm scared to respond. I have to, drive, <laughs> I have to drive back to Vegas with her for four hours. <laughs> Well, you know, stand strong. Stand strong. Oh, all right. We need a strong Latino in <laughs> this, here. Come on. This Get it together. Is, this Twitch is, is not from anything. She's I have done. a question for you. You touched on a word when we were in the office. Because um, Mike and I don't believe in the word. You know, it, um, I think it's counterproductive. But you said healthy. Part, no. Oh. Part of the show you wanted to touch on was plus size dating, plus size living. Plus size living. I think you know, seventy two percent of women in the U S. are plus size. Okay, but hold on. Let me let me just okay, elaborate yeah. a little bit there because one of the one of the issues Mike and I have is that whole term because Why? well no no because i don't feel that women should be labeled that way because in our mind we're you might not feel like they should be labeled but we are labeled we're constantly I, no, no, you, are. Are. No, you are women but, are but it's not right I, I, and again not because we're feminist and that i'm just saying that in terms of being latinos a woman without curves okay it's not that she's not a woman but it, it's it's kind of where they talk about victoria's secret and some of the others but i have a question what makes a female Plus size. That's the thing. Because I'll tell you what, I like my women like I like my milk. Spoiled and chunky. (laughs) (laughs) You have good taste. Good taste. Um, I know. What makes a woman plus size? That in today's terms. Are we talking about anything above a size two? No, anything above a size eight. So anything starting at size eight. That's where I start. That's where I start. Size eight. But that's That's baseline right there. Yeah. Yeah, That's industry. But that's industry. I come from fashion industry. And you know what? As much as you want to say it is what it is. A skinny girl, a skinny woman is a skinny woman. A plus size woman is a plus size woman. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you with Victoria's Secret, like you said. Said there were no angels or were angels. Maybe it wasn't even Victoria's Secret. Oh, yeah, Secret. I saw that, that campaign that went viral because yeah. they were. But it was the anti Victoria's Secret campaign. Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah I gotta yeah. tell you, I found those women a thousand times more attractive they than. Rep- they represent today's women, though. They're, okay. They are a size 10, 12, 14, 16. Those are today's women. Those are real curves. And right. the reality is that we need. We need to be able to talk about that, and they need to have something to relate to. And plus size dating compared to straight size dating, I mean, it's a reality. If you go on, and I've been all sizes all the way down to this is my solid, uh, the smallest. I'm a size 16. Dating, um, and I've done so many experiments with it. 
it's very different than men that you attract, the people that you attract, the dates that you go on. Um, you have people that have fat fetishes. You have people that embrace it. You have people that don't love it. And we need to be able to talk about that because when it comes down to it, confidence has a lot to do. But women need to be confident in their own skin when they're going to go on a date and know what their values are, know what their standards are, willing to accept, not willing to accept, and deal breakers. And but, we want to be able to talk about that. Uh, but at the same time, how come is we're coming men down, are we're, not we're minute. Men don't have a label. If, I mean, if you're fat, you're fat as a ma as a guy. No, but now no, that's starting to trend. That's changing because now we have plus size men that are starting to come. We are seeing campaigns Mikey, going on. When they, so when that's they, changing. When but they not see our the, when they see the doctors like Kira que guapo. When they see you, okay. Kira se pinche gordo. I know. Hey, 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 hey. We're coming up on the midway point. You're listening to Rosie Mercado and the doc who doesn't want to say much. Stick around. We'll pick up right after the break. I want to tell you about an amazing wine from winelab.net. It's called Dynamite Cabernet Sauvignon. It's full bodied with flavors of blackberry, plum, and cassis spread out, tinged with cedar and hints of chocolate and vanilla. The wine is smooth and inviting. The ripe berry flavors linger across the finish. The wine's deep purple color, flecked with violet highlights, preps you for this big yet approachable wine. Dark aromas of black cherry, berry, plum, and tobacco continue on to the palate. Subtle flavors of cedar and graphite add layers to the toasty backbone of vanilla and bacon spices. Structured tannins and peppery black fruit ease into a long, satisfying finish. When you visit winelab.net to order, use code DYNAMITE for 25% off the amazing Dynamite Cabernet Sauvignon. Or use coupon code IRENT and get 10% off any of the other amazing products at winelab.net. Remember, you can always visit us and pick up at our store in Costa Mesa or stop by and say hello. These offers are good until October 31st or while supplies last. Visit winelab.net today. Protec Carpet Tile and Care provides professional cleaning services for carpet, tile, grout, upholstery, and fine area rugs. Protec technicians are professionally trained and certified cleaning and restoration experts. We specialize in restoring damage caused by heavy soil and odor. We can remove challenging spots such as coffee, tea, ink, gum, wine, and many more. We have saved our customers thousands of dollars on new flooring and furniture expenses with our advanced cleaning processes. Call for a free estimate at 562-447-4300 and visit us on our website, www.myprotechsite.com. Hey, this is Joe Perez, owner at Protech. Just reminding you that Protech Carpet and Tile Care is your professional choice. ...that needs to get noticed, your ideas need a great website. And at Infuse, we build simple, clean, and efficient websites. We believe that even the wildest ideas should come to life in a beautiful way. We build responsive sites, e-commerce sites, and even help with business email setup and search engine optimization. Every great idea needs a great website. Start your new look today. Check us out at www.infuse.com. That's www.enfuse.com. Or call us at 800-542-4783. Again, that's 800-542-4783. Infuse, we get it done. Hey everybody, it's Kiara Lynn Ford and I'm listening to Rant Radio Network. From the break, we still have a studio special guest, Rosie Mitchell. Say hello to everybody. Um, we're going to pick up where we left off. We we're talking about uh, the plus size label and she just informed us and I'm going to ask the doc's opinion in a second about plus size men. There's First no of all, such thing. No, hold on, hold on. Plus so, size men, yes, there is. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I'm Ooh. curious. Nah, 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 Rosie, Rosie. 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 Doc, talk to me. I mean, you should tell her you're thinking about going into modeling too. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. actually, there's you know, a real man campaign going on for real men with that are plus size. Where? I, I, it went viral. Didn't you see I shared no, it? it no, yes. no. Yes. No. the funniest commercial. They're like putting pictures of guys Rosie, with like six Rosie, Rosie. packs and everything. You went viral. 
We saw that here in the office, even though we hadn't spoken in a few months. You're trying to tell me that there's a viral campaign yes. for fat men yes. who are so ashamed for they underwear. Want to be, they, for I underwear. Say, for boxers. Off, I don't want to see. I don't want to see a fit man. I especially don't want to see a fat man in his in his little. Well, no, but I don't want to hear okay, the let... crying. If you're fat, you're fat when you're a man. No, but no, me... they're embracing it. It's an amazing commercial. Well, yeah, you, yeah, it's an let amazing. Let me explain commercial. how the campaign goes. They put guys in si with six packs, and then they put these other gentlemen and le ponen un docena de tacos. Are you in front of it? Right? Are, Are you hungry? kidding me? Are you kidding me? And that's, how, that's how you rate your uh, plus size men value right there. Based on how many tacos you can put down. <laughs> then I then I can be in a commercial. Actually, <laughs> actually, my next venture, I'm going to open up a not a big and tall store or a short and big store. That's that's what it's going to be. Okay, but I don't hey, care. You, you become Oh, rich. is that it? The sooner you advertise here, the better? Oh, there yeah, you there go. You go. <laughs> okay, but what generation is that, though? Because I don't know. And, and again, we are in a large, very, very large social circle, nonprofit circle. Mm -hmm. I don't know one man between 40 and 60 in that circle. That I'm just taking that group. Plus size? Who would ever... Call themselves plus size. If you so, call them plus size, they probably smack you. Yes, I, I know three that call themselves plus size, and they're plus size models, and they're very handsome. I was gonna say, what's the issue? You know, I grew up being called husky. I'm, I'm yeah, but you're insecure. I know. Oh no, husky. I'm not. Husky? Oh, I, I just oh, call that's myself. That's worse. Hold on. I'm, I'm husky. Fluffy. Men husky. That is worse. No way, baby. That's manly. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a husky you know what? Man. When I yes, go, I'm a husky. When I go buy my son pants, and it's like I, I need a husky size. I just doesn't feel right. To me, that's manly. If somebody says, "What do you say? I need a plus size." I just can't. No, not know. the petite for me. Yeah, the plus size. I'm having a heart attack <laughs> thinking about that. Taking my nephew shopping, Mijo, we gotta go to the plus size. What? If you're husky, you're husky. Arvid's the only one who's the metrosexual in the group. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, okay, I can, I can see I that. Didn't know yeah, that. see, I mean, he that's, is full that's, of it. That's a great hairstyle. <laughs> He plucks his I, eyebrows. Over. Right. But Arvin is the only one in the room who's insecure about how he is. So, you know, I, I understand that generation because he's 15 years younger than us. I'm going to say. How old are you, Arvin? Yes. Oh, he had to think about it. You're that old? All right, 10 years younger Something than us. Like the doc is 15 years younger than us. I can see the younger subset because that's also the hipsters and the ones who are insecure still live well, in mommy and daddy's skinny basement. Jeans? Have you skinny jeans. Have you what the hell is skinny jeans for know. men? I get like one leg. Again, I was going to say all of my jeans. Or skinny jeans. Well, they look, I, I no, believe that. They're, they're I believe that. They're painted on, but you know. <laughs> so I just, again, I don't know. I, like I said, I, you they, know what? Things are changing so much, and when it comes to body, yeah. But isn't it oversensitized? I mean, again, this is about women shouldn't be labeled. You know, Lucille Ball, one of my wife's heroes. She's oh, she was she was amazing. gorgeous. She was beautiful, but she was a size fourteen. Yeah, at but her a size best. fourteen. Yeah, size fourteen back then was and what, like what? a size six, size eight. You gotta come. You gotta. Is compare. that what it was? Yeah, it it's a big difference. Marilyn Monroe. Everybody said she was a size sixteen. She was like a size eight. She was so small. Hello. Uh oh, we got a call. Have a call. Caller. Hello, hello. Yes. You're on the air. Hey, if you call, talk. <laughs> Did Wait. they scare you away? Hold hello, on. hello. What's wrong Wait. with you? Wait, hold on. But you know what? Bueno. I, well, while we figure out what's going on, I didn't realize that Ro that Rosie. Lucille Ball was a size 14 until everybody started talking about it. She never looked. I don't know if they're trying no, to make it seem like she's plumpy. But, I mean, back, back, or then, plus you, size. Com, back then, the sizes were completely different, completely right. off. There she is again. Hello, hello. There she is again. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Is this the Two Guys brand and the Metrosexual? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Alan, update Alan, that logo, Alan. baby. Two Guys in a Metro. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang up, Alan. Hang up right now. <laughs> Go ahead, caller. What can we do I for you? Help. No, I am just. I was listening to the show, and it's it's amazing. I, I mean, I remember my mom. Okay, I guess I'm considered plus size. I guess. What size are you? It's over a size eight. I, I'm sorry. What size are you? I, I go between a twelve and a fourteen. Girlfriend, embrace it. You are plus size. See, and and that's the funny thing is that you go shopping to a you know a regular store, and you'll see like. Small, medium, large. All it's always the large and the extra large that are out. And some of these manufacturers, they, I don't think they understand the cut of women's sizes. What what they, women's sizes are nowadays, and it's very different. I always refer back to I Love Lucy. I'm a big I Love Lucy fan, and I remember there was an episode where Ricky was trying to find a girl who would fit into a dress for a number that he was trying to get somebody to fill in, and the person had to be a size 12. Back then, this was back in the 50s. I mean, that uh, size 12 was pretty big. 
back then, yes, it was. You know what's kind of sad is that I went shopping and I was at the fashion show. I went into guests and my body structure, I'm a size large on top. I go in there. I could not find one size large. Everything that was left was small, extra small, medium. And that's one of the questions that I asked. I was yep. like, if, if you're not selling that, then why are you making it? That tells you if you're sold out on extra large and large, why aren't these companies paying attention to that demand? You'd be selling a lot more, making a lot more money. But it's also sad to go into Target and you know all these smaller stores and you go, go in there and all the plus size clothing is in the very back, hidden. And it's got the worst selection ever. And that's kind of depressing for a plus size woman. So we want to be able to turn, turn that around. And the only way we're going to turn that around is money talks. Yeah, but Don't see, okay. spend there. But what I'm saying is to, to your point, and this is what like what, what Doc was saying. I walk into a Target. Yeah. They got a big giant ass sign. What does it say? Big and tall. Right in the front. They don't hide it in the men's department. You're but right. I'm telling you right now, they changed that sissy sign to say plus size men. I'm out. I'll never uh -oh. shop at a Target again. So what you ego. want is you want, a, your ego. you want a sign that says gordo y feo. Whatever. <laughs> I'm all about truth and no, reality, it, okay? It, I don't it, need it, to be lied to. Between men and women. Yeah, there's yeah, a big I, difference. I don't take different. selfies, but I would take a selfie in front of that sign. <laughs> gordo y feo. I'd be like, yeah, baby. My section. You own it. Oh. And I don't know if they still do it, but I do remember, if I'm not mistaken, it was the, um, the Sears boys department. They had an Husky. area where it was Husky. Husky. Yeah, I, I, wore Husky. I lived in Husky. I, it was either slim, regular, or Husky. Right. Yes. And I was yes. always on the Husky side. That's how, that, that's how it was. Most Latinos were by birth, man. And, and you know that, what? What's funny? You come the out Husky? of the womb, Husky. They're like, yeah. congratulations, your baby's eight pounds, Husky. Well, no, <laughs> you know, no, but especially most Latino boys, when they were born for Sears, like, oh, he's eight pounds, six pounds of nalgas. Okay, he's going to be Husky. <laughs> but you know what's funny, too? They used to have a, a, uh, a line of Husky jeans. They would never tear. They would, you and could, they fit you, incredible. And okay. you, could, you could not destroy them. Right. So if you can't be called Husky what, and you don't want plus size, what would you want? No, I like Husky. I prefer Buenote. Yeah. I too. I I Buenote. I too. I like Husky. I, I like big and tall. I think this is a safe zone. <laughs> I, I was told, I was told come in here. This, I this give is metro section said Buenote. Okay, we lost the engineer. I saw him hit the floor. I have to ask. And apparently... We forgot section. that we have a color. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, your V-necks. Where do you find the double, the double? I take, I, I take two of them and I stitch them together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any other questions, caller? No, no questions. But I'm looking forward to Rosie's new show. So congratulations, Rosie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Sending you a big hug. All thank right. you. Thanks for calling All in. Right. Thank you. Take care. All right, so that's what I'm saying. No, I don't mind, but see, I guess where I'm saying... You still haven't answered the question. If you if you can't have Husky and you don't want plus size, then give me a good one. Just a man. Big and tall? Or men. I don't know why, I get, I don't know why we need well, labels. What about, what about the thin guys? They're not men then? No. Yeah. Okay, you no. get Buenote and Yanguillo. <laughs> Echo. Echo. Oh, <laughs> All right, stick around. We're going to come back with some politics and our normal topic. Rosie's going to stay with us. The doc's going to help uh, resuscitate everybody. We'll be right back. Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. It's hot out here. I need a drink. Have a mucho macho michelada. What's a michelada? Michelada is a Mexican Bloody Mary made with beer. All you have to do is get bucket-sized michelada, open it up, pour it in your favorite beer, and you're good. 
What if you don't like beer? You can use it in lemon lime soda, vodka with lime, or tequila with lemon lime soda. Sounds delicious. Where do you find it? You can find it at your favorite store, or you can go to muchomachomichelada.com. Find us on Twitter and Facebook. It's one thing to own a business. It's another to promote it. That's why thousands of business owners rely on Monster Marketing Group. Design, print, mail, custom mailers, all for as little as 29 cents delivered. That includes posting. Send to a neighborhood, zip code, or an entire city. With just a simple call, 888-49-MONSTER, you can easily promote your business, sales, events, grand openings, send coupons, and much more. Your mail delivers in as little as five days. No dealing with the mailing list or paperwork. Monster Marketing does all the heavy lifting. Get started now by calling 888-49-MONSTER or go to monstermg.com. Monster Marketing Group. We deliver. We give you results. We can prove it. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, and a big old howdy, y'all. This is the Red Mexican Alex Raimundo with my amigos, the Three Guys Ranting, not to be confused with Three Guys Panting. That was uh, me outside your window the other night, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad, Rosie, that you're here, aside from the fact that somebody pretty is finally in my seat. You've always been a strong Latina woman. You've always been outspoken. You've always believed in Latino causes. I have. With the ongoing issues in the politics, we, we talk about it uh -oh. every week. We always pick up everybody. Where I say both sides, we can't even use those terms online, I mean on, on air, but none of them to me have any real calling right now um rubio and cruz rubio's so oh, i love rubio's they have a good taco yeah Ru you know, rubio's so whitewashed because you know he's having a back pedal whatever but let's just cut to the chase trump oh god are we really gonna go there yeah let's go there that's what you know what talking about trump is, is tiempo perdido okay but right now he's making all the noise so but if he's, it, he's an entertainer though okay so then who who in that party? And I'm not asking for your affiliation. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious for both sides because you've always been an intelligent woman who, you know, you You're have an, say Hillary, are you? an ideology. I'm, I'm not going to answer that question. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to know the answer. That's okay. We've always said on this show, we tell people, we don't care who you vote for, just be a part of the process. Mm -hmm. But I'm just curious your thoughts on the whole overall picture. It's a circus is what that picture is. Yeah, are you Rosie? Because all sorry. of a sudden she got a very deep voice. Hey, you know, I, I, I agree with you. I, I, I agree with you. I do have to ask though, if she's sitting in your chair, why, is why do you your, have a pink microphone? Your, your, yeah. Why is because your that's his mangina <laughs> microphone. No, I, I'd be, did you sanitize that before you sat there? Yeah. I'd be real you, why do you think I keep going back? <laughs> as, as, you know, as your she doctor just, friend, she I just was, said, you have a stinky pinky. No. <laughs> I'm not sure she said it quite that way, but we'll go with that. Um, Next question. So, well, no. Okay, Doc, you got any comments on that? Uh, no, because I actually... Um, and, <laughs> Damn it, man. So you're one of the 11 million who wants to send back? Claro que sí. You know what? No, I'll give you you my, know what the worst comment I, was when they said that they were going to like sell tickets for drinks to watch people jump over the wall? Like, that was horrible. <laughs> I just have to say that was horrible. But you know what? What? That's a hell of a concept. Why? We can make a lot of money. If you sell tickets. Okay, but... You know, I can, look I can, no, 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 I can make a lot of money putting a taco truck in front of the White House. Yeah, that's true, but will you do. vote? Uh, yes, I'm going to vote. You're going to vote. I'm going to vote. Okay. I'm sorry. You have okay, to vote. On. It's your responsibility. In you have to vote. Really? Because if you don't, if you don't, if you don't vote, then no, no, no puedes ir para allá. Really? Uh, you right. have to vote. Wow. No, I agree. Tell if only, that. if only everybody in the room metrosexual. Hey, that's why you I don't say, vote. But you have a responsibility to vote. It takes a lot of time to slick that hair. <laughs> time to go. Thank you. I mean, See, I'm just saying, somebody understands. I can, that takes some talent right there. Okay, so Mike and I, I will pick this up. I think they have a bromance. Oh, they really do. Yeah, they really do. Right but you know what? I like well, it. Hey, Doc, we, you said we, we just should, lost the engineering. We, could, the we could put a taco truck in front of the White House. I said we put a watermelon stand. So <laughs> Will's going to make a lot of money there. But anyway. <laughs> wow. You uh, Next. Let's you just jump what? in the shark right there. I was going to say, when I got Okay, so hold on. In the last two weeks, we've had you know both sides debate. Um, and again, Mikey's always got the most colorful answers, but either side, anybody stand out to you? They Anything all suck. That, no, there isn't not. one worth a damn. I mean, we so might as well just start. We just you gotta say start, America. start fresh. Oh, America. Start a new America. America. 
There's okay, nobody but I would vote for. It doesn't matter. We, we, we got to vote for something. You have to definitely have to vote for something. That's your responsibility. If, if, if you don't, if don't complain. Anything, if anything, I would vote for uh, Sanders if he made it. Assuming Colonel, he gets the nomination. Huh? Assuming he gets the nomination. Is that right. Cur Colonel Sanders? <laughs> I, I vote for him too. Oh, oh, I vote for him every week. <laughs> he could get my vote with a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken original recipe. He's got oh. my vote. Damn it, I hadn't thought of it that way, but I think I'm in. <laughs> That'll be my writing candidate, Colonel Sanders. That'll be it. So my, my thing is this, okay, you know, so Trump still hasn't flamed out. Um, I think he's actually gained momentum the last couple no, of weeks. No, I mean, again, he, the, here's the thing, and Mike talks about it every week. The, the numbers have risen in the polls. The problem is most of the people that they're answering the phones, they don't leave their house anyway. They're not going to go vote. Right. So that group of losers that thinks he's our next president. Plus, it doesn't matter what people say. Uh, on a poll because when, when you get into the voting booth it's a completely different story right you, you will tell anybody on the phone anything they want to hear whatever you think they'd like to hear but when you get in there you're going to vote your conscience okay have so you, have you actually gotten one of those calls yeah i always hang up let's assume <laughs> let's assume that trump flames out where does it go if he flames out bush will pick up a lot of that support you think so yeah i don't know he's too weak bro. i don't, I don't see it. i mean i know he's made oh, a latina he's, well he's weak because Trump says he's weak. He's not weak. What he's, do you mean he's, he's not weak? He, he's a smart guy. He really is. No, a smart he's a guy. dumbass like his brother. Oh, no, his brother was a oh, dumbass. You're okay. passionate about oh. that, aren't you? Oh, I can't stand any of the bushes. All three of them. Oh, I love. Hey, oh. you know what? I can't stand so the bushes you... in front of my house either. <laughs> <laughs> from my view, you know, I can't I'm, see no, who's no, in no. front. You know, I hear cars passing by. I can't see who's there. You know, you know, you know us Mexicans, life. we gotta look out the window. Can I? Can I? How can you possibly hate Mexicans? Dude, why is it that? Why is it that you're talking about Mexicans, right? Right. You knock on the door and they don't answer, but you honk the horn and they come running out. That's how it is. What is up with that? How about we talk about what happened at Miss Universe? I was watching that. Isn't that what? so oh, embarrassing? Stand by. Alan, you want to cue that up? Alan's got it for you. Oh, perfect. Because we knew you'd want to talk about it. Oh, absolutely. Colombia! So, wow, this... this got pretty far into it. No, I have to bad. apologize. It takes full responsibility. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. This face, though. She that look is priceless. Yeah. You know, that's only Steve Harvey can that's do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's only, only he can get off. away with that. Runner up is Colombia. Her face is like, what? That crown. That crown. That was like... That is not a typical Miss Universe crown. And you're like, what? What does this mean? Miss USA was... Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. That is a tough moment for Miss Columbia. I just imagine the embarrassment and... I mean, you're given something and it's like... Yes, yes, yes. And then they just take it away in front of everyone and give it to someone else. Yeah, but they, they didn't take it away. She didn't win. Yeah, it was but on her head. But no, but he made it a mistake. It was on her head. I wanted, he to see them, I wanted to see them get in a fight, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? I, was I do just have wait, to say, Miss Columbia handled it with I such grace and elegance. She really did. I mean, when they asked her, you know, how do you feel about this? She just said, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, and so what, what, is she, what is she still saying there? Is, it, is that what you're saying? Yeah, that she takes full responsibility for what happens. I mean, full responsibility. What does that mean? No, but I mean, he, he made a mistake. I understand, but you can't make those kind of mistakes with yeah, your host. You know, thank you. you can't. It's thank so you. Yes, you that can. You see, no. this that is the that problem level. I have with Mike no. because Mike likes to make excuses for no. everyone because no. he thinks everyone's Puerto Rican. Not excuses. Okay, so I the tell him that if you're Puerto Rican, you make excuses. Something like 45. Miss Universe, the, the, you The way cannot. he handled it, I mean, he, he took responsibility on the spot. It doesn't matter. You don't make those kind of mistakes. Not on that level. You can't make a mistake on that level. So what were you expecting for him to be Surgeons make mistakes, and what the hell? Oh, oh shit. they can't make any mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got to make sure we beat that <laughs> one. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about you're expecting everybody to be so perfect. He just makes he mistakes made a mistake. someone dies. Okay, he doesn't need to be perfect. The moron needs to read one, one line. line. And Who the card won? says, runner up. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the pendejo, what does he say? Oh, the winner is. What? Miss, yeah, it, that was no, not right. That's wrong, man. And I mean, just the, the man embarrassment. Made a mistake. No. You know, in defense of Steve. Steve Harvey, because, you know, who doesn't love him? But, right. you know, I heard that the card itself was very confusing to read. 
Because it was in English? No, no, but regardless, it it is your responsibility (laughs) as a host at that level to make sure before you announce the winner. See, I agree with you, Rosie, but come on. No, no. I'm Anybody sorry. can make a mistake. No, they Anybody, haven't. How, come in, how, long, how long has it been on? 65 years? Yeah, he has too much so experience to make those kind Miss of Universe, mistakes. Miss America. There's too many of Miss them. Miss USA. Miss America. So there's at least three Miss, of them. Miss but Honey Boo Boo. Miss Universe. No, no, you'll say it. What I'm saying is so what they have like so, in 200 pageants, one time it's ever happened, but Mikey says, oh, you can't. Fool. No, no, no. At that level, you see what happens. You cannot Besides, make those kind of mistakes. Who the hell says that this lady is Miss Universe? We don't know how many other planets have people. <laughs> so why is she Miss Universe? All right. All right. So I agree. bottom line is, this is what happens when they give Donald Trump the boot. That's right. I'm right, right. Oh right. yeah. Right. That's what Donald kept saying. Look, there it is. First runner up. Second runner up. Miss Universe. Yeah, how complicated is that? That's not, that's not complicated. It's, very, it's, it's right it's, there. It's in big, big, big letters. letters. Yeah, who posted that? We don't know if that's the actual card he had. Oh, you know, know what's funny? You're though? always looking for excuses. Oh, always. On the internet. Always. Uh, yeah, Mikey's always. always looking so for it. Mikey, what you're saying is... Y me mandan el que me tiene que defender. Thank you, guys. What you're saying is that it was difficult to read because we read from the left to the right, so the first thing you saw was... Look, he even shows the card. It's oh, in it's his face. So okay, well, look. You know what? That's super that's okay. huge. But look at that. Oh, yeah. That's not in Ebonics. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> Mike at the 3GuysRant.com. And um, yeah, Kwanzaa people, go ahead and get Mike also. <laughs> hey, before we go, we got another segment after the short one, right? Yeah. But Rosie, we got to let everybody know how to get a hold of you, how, how to, to find you, you, how to talk how to, to you. Find you. Come on. Make sure and follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Rosie Mercado. You can follow me on Twitter as well, or you can visit RosieMercado.com. All right. Nice. Doc, anything sure you want to plug? Uh, well. Hey, you... don't look at our event. <laughs> God, they got a program. Should I just leave and I'm, come back I'm, tomorrow? I'm just, no, I'm, I'm scared to answer. I'm looking for Rosie. <laughs> you can actually find me on Instagram. All right. Go ahead, Paulino Doc. underscore Bambino or on Facebook. Uh, Are you Paulino. really Paulino underscore Bambino? Uh, We're working I, on oh, He's working on we, social we, media. We'll be back from the break. going to have that up on screen. Stick around. Been in an accident? Then you need your vehicle professionally repaired. That's exactly what you get when you bring your vehicle to Greg's Auto Body Repair. Three quotes within minutes. We will provide everything you need for a hassle-free auto body repair, from an accurate estimate to working with your insurance company. We will get your vehicle to its pre-accident condition as soon as possible. Greg's Auto Body has been serving Los Angeles County and local cities since 1970. Call us at 562-789-1300. Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continued to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation. So he focused on integrative healthcare to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar and Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar and Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Located in Monrovia, California, Mount Sierra College prepares highly skilled graduates for careers in management, information technology, media arts, and game arts. Transfer earned credits or start right after high school and earn a bachelor's degree in four years or less. Combine industry-driven, hands-on small classes with your general education units. Mount Sierra College. Invest in yourself. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. Hey, what's going on? This is Frank Palangi here. You're listening to the Three Guys Rant Radio Show. Rock on.
All right, we're back for the final segment. Alan, did you find that uh, posting there? Hey, wait, while he's finding the posting, I actually got a, a tweet from one of our listeners saying, love the show, love Rosie. But why in the hell did, was Mikey yelling at that poor girl on the phone? I wasn't Uh-oh. yelling at her. Andale, cabrón, eh? Who sent you the tweet? I'm saying, hey, you know what? If you call, you speak know. up. Uh, Mikey, I'm going to give you a quick psychological evaluation. <laughs> I think there's some underlying anger issues you have. And um, Tell you what, Doc, can you give me some Ativan? <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it even. I'm going to give you some Viagra. It's going to take care of that. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I-, I like the quick diagnosis um, Gentlemen, there. Should, I, should I leave? Um, I mean, we got bromance, Viagra, condoms. I mean, these kind of subjects hey, well, that we're talking about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody's this? mentioned condoms on, Wait, on oh, air. On, not on air. air. Yeah, on air, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's because when you start calling us uh, plus size men models, then, you know. I never said models. Oh. Whoa! 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 Just to make sure. Chiquita, I, I just want to throw it out there. No, ni tan chiquita, eh? Ni tan chiquita. My side of the table has been quiet during that whole back and forth, so I have nothing to do with it. Well, yeah, because you don't have the pink mic. Andale, cabron. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? You do have those cute red earphones. And he's got the pink oh, chonies. Oh, 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 he's cute. Oh, like, he's say, hitting on you now. You know what? They're, like, they're turning the same color as his face. Look at that. <laughs> I think we do need to leave the room. I think so. They're really going to go around now. We have a medical term for that. It's called angioedema. Look it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Medicaldictionary.com. He wants some. He can't read. He can't look anything up. Talk Uh, to us. What is it? He he wants some. You have to say after the show so you can show him how to look it up. I don't don't do those kind of exams. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Those cost extra. (laughs) How much extra are we talking about? (laughs) All right. With Um, funnies, I never knew. Never met anyone as young as Arvin that gets a prostate exam every week. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> you know, it, it's like it's a standing appointment the, every week. The funny part Anyways, is, <laughs> is all I, right, I, let's see. I, I, those chiropractors <laughs> did rectal exams. I mean, it's like I think you're going to the wrong doctor. <laughs> all right, real quick, let's get back on the holidays for a second. Mikey, as a body what, what? what are you going to be doing for Christmas? Uh, <laughs> how, how do you go from rectal exam to the holidays? <laughs> when you're Latino, every day you're getting screwed. Let's go. Mikey, what you got? Uh, Christmas Eve at my sister-in-law's and Christmas Day at home. Quiet. They're going to have some mofongo. And some nah, man. They're Mexican. How the hell can you that? So you probably have Crap, some man. probably you have fungo. pozole, like tamales, food. you know. Wine and cheese. Wine and cheese. Wine and cheese. cheese. <laughs> Wine and cheese. She's so, so sophisticated. Rosie, what are you doing for Christmas? Got to celebrate. You know we're Mexican. We're going to throw, throw a big party. Nice. Yeah. A bailar. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, this should be good. Arvin? Tacos. <laughs> well, there's definitely going to be tacos. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, this is just, what happens when I hang up with a whole bunch of guys. Just, just uh, hang out with the family. Eating yeah. tacos. Yeah. Oh, uh, y'all don't do it right. Doc? Tamales? Well, I'm trying to keep it PG-13 hey, on what's really going to happen. Uh, how, how are y'all not eating tamales on Christmas? No, we. Yeah, it's probably yeah, going to be tamales. No, no, because no, tamales, uh, champurrado. Buñuelos, See, because the people that I know about. only order five pounds at a time of tamale, <laughs> of tamal masa. I'm not going to say no names, though. No, you're not, even, you're not even doing it right. It's when the whole familia gets in the kitchen. One's putting the masa on the right, corn husk. Right, right. The other one's putting the meat in there. The other one's rolling, putting them in the olla. That, that, that's about 50 pounds in. But when somebody orders five pounds, that's a little different. <laughs> First of all, I don't do tamales. Okay, I don't mind eating them, but I had no idea how much to buy. I ordered five pounds. Arvin laughed at me. He had five pounds delivered. Um, that's again, cute. It was, that's uh, this that's big. cute. Was that like an appetizer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Apparently it I mean, was, <laughs> okay? Um, and Arvin makes fun of me because with us, it'll probably be uh, rack of lamb. A rack of lamb. Um, rack of lamb. What, what's yes, that yes, the you white on? man Christmas. Oh, um, what, what side what, of town do you live so on? That, that's why I was laughing when Rosie said she was going to do the whole Mexican style thing. Um, yeah, our, ours is a little more um, twice baked potatoes, mm-hmm. rack of lamb, race some specific. Ribs, <laughs> so. There'll be no champurado. Um, There'll probably be some short too. ribs and, and red wine sauce. You know, something like that. Champagne's going to flow. What are you be like that for, man? Yeah, it. You like it, that man. red wine reduction. I don't know why you act that way. I didn't say I didn't like it. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, I mean, we don't, um, there's not a whole lot of brown Christmas there. So, okay. yeah, I don't so, are you yeah. not proud of being Latino? What is wrong? What happened in your childhood that you yeah. reject being hurt Latino? You, Who hurt you? Who hurt you? The Come doctor on, here. Phil. He can take care of you. Come on, man. Doctor, doctor, hold please, on. Here we hold go. his hand. Please. Therapeutic, hold his hand. Therapeutic hug stat. <laughs> <laughs> I was born here. Hey, you realize that here I was raised You're here. Latino. You realize hey, that here is Mexico, own right? Your raza roots. Um, <laughs> roots. I. Uh, you gotta roll it. You gotta roll the R. I. I. 
Phil, you realize that this is still Mexico, right? I mean, I'm just saying. I realize what? This is still Mexico. No. Yes. We're America. No. no it's not America. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So t tell us why your Christmas is so diverse. Or, I or like that. turtles. <laughs> <laughs> That's one reason right there. That's, uh, it's not diverse. Why is your Christmas so damn white? Thank okay. you. Uh, well, in other words, why is it boring? <laughs> we actually have a very good time with it. Um, so do you guys just sit and eat, or do you guys actually dance? What do no, you guys no, do? No, like, see what they do. Dance. I've actually experienced yeah. it. They no, like, see the only or... time I've seen this guy dance in 25 years was at his, was at his wedding, and I was at one dance. Hey, that's I, it. I, I, he's how he's doing so social so media. That, he's like, I'm, to I'm, I'm, I'm putting everything out. So you're telling me out. that story you told me about being the 1995 Macarena champion <laughs> in July? That's between us, Doc. Oh, I you you said you, that wasn't the safety zone. You I, said it was, you know, I, I wait, Doc, come safe, on. Safe, Doc, safe, that was supposed to be private. Safe zone. Safe All right. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so we have Hold a Macarena dancer. We got the doctor hitting on Arvin. Oh, my hey, God. The only condoms talking. The only sane ones is me and you. Hey. Let me know. Uh, okay, you talk, not talk let to me. me know. Let everybody know how to find you again. One Please, more time and tell them what's coming Make up. Make sure and visit rosemercado.com or you can check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to like and follow. Doc, right. do you want to put anything out there, Mr. Uh, Bambino? Uh, let's see. Is it up there? Alan, did you find Paulino underscore Bambino? Hey, come on. There's only one. What? <laughs> he couldn't find it. We, uh, <laughs> Ladies, hey, did, did you, he's Mexican. It's, it's, either, not it's either that or he, or he refused to look. I, I must have Because he was blocked. afraid. He, he must no, have no, no, hey, stalkers. Alan, did you, did you look on Grindr? Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! That was, um... That's where I recognize you from. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and, 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 and familiar. Let the record show that he's pointing at Arvin. Uh, <laughs> like, don't be dragging me down with you. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's okay. It's okay. Know. Take we uh, Take will not be. Uh, we'll be off next week, so you'll be here in the best of, which is probably any show. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure which one's the best. And uh, this one's the best. After the first, this one again. This is the way to go out of the bang. Uh, thank you so much for having us. I appreciate you yes, guys. Have a merry Christmas. Thank you so much, so much for being here. Sending you guys all yeah. lots of love. We'll look forward to the new year. Stick around uh, on the channel, Arvin. Rent Radio Network. The Q. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the rest of them? Yes. KMET 1490 AM here in California. KCAA 1050 AM. We have the Mix Radio out of New York. We have DM Nark out of uh, New England. Uh, there's like another five that I'm drawing a blank to right okay, now. Good. So, All right, everybody. Sure love All right. That. Hey, Kwanzaa, hey, Merry Christmas. Have a good New Christmas. Year. Feliz Año Nuevo. We'll Merry back. Christmas, everyone. Real Estate Rant and 